Hey, what is going on guys? So today on the channel, we're going to be taking a look at macOS Catalina 10.15.5. So this is the latest release of macOS Catalina, of course. Not a ton of changes here, just a couple new things, and then a whole lot of bug fixes. So let's go ahead and check out the new features. Okay, so first off here is the new battery health management feature. So if you go into your system preferences and then you can actually either be in battery or power adapter, but you'll notice down here at the bottom there's a new battery health button. So when you click on this battery health button, you will see a few new things. You'll see that your battery condition, which I would hope mine is normal on this newer uh, MacBook Air, but you'll see your battery condition right here. And this could change over time and let you know uh, if your computer may need some service or a new battery and then right below that you see your battery health management so this is just like uh, the feature that's been on the iPhones for a while now it is turned on by default but you can turn it off if you would like but basically what this does is it reduces your peak capacity to extend your battery's lifespan so my battery is charging uh, right now and I'm not sure uh, how far it's gonna go but it may stop at like 90% or something like that it won't charge your battery all the way full now of course you could might need to turn this off if you were going on a trip or something but I know that a lot of people like myself they get a Mac laptop they leave it on their desk plugged in 24-7 and it's constantly on the charger. I mean, my computer has been on the charger now for quite some time. I just took it off and plugged it in today. But this is going to automatically manage the healthier battery. So that's pretty nice now. So the next thing here is if you go into FaceTime and you go into your FaceTime preferences, you can actually uh, see a new option to select and it's called the FaceTime prominence. So this is just like the feature they just added into the latest version of iOS, but I took a screenshot of it here, and you can see automatic prominence uh, speaking. So during group FaceTime calls, the tile of the person speaking will automatically become larger. So that's basically the same thing uh, that we see on the iOS and iPad OS now. So that has been added in as well. So the last new feature here is if you go into System Preferences, then Displays, and go over here to Color, you can now have fine-tuning options in the Display Profile for the Pro Display XDR. So just like you can set up color profiles for all sorts of displays, you can now fine-tune your Pro Display XDR if you have one. And that's it for new things that were added. So the rest of the things here are a lot of bug fixes. So the first one here is to do with the Reminders app. So there was a bug where Reminders did not send notifications for recurring Reminders, so that has been fixed now. The next one is the login screen was preventing some users to actually enter their password, so that has also been resolved. There was an issue with system preferences where even if you would do a software update, you would still see the notification badge, uh, the little one on the system preferences to update. You would know there was no update. A lot of people have been working from home lately using things like Zoom. So there was an issue where uh, video conferencing apps would not recognize the built-in web camera. So that has also been fixed now. So for Max with the T2 security chip, there was a problem with the uh, built-in internal speakers not being recognized in the output uh, section of the sound settings and system preferences. For the Photos app, there was a problem with uh, your iCloud photo library not downloading or uploading uh, while your Mac was asleep. For people that used RAID volumes who transferred large amount of data, sometimes it would not work properly, so that has been fixed. In the accessibility settings, there is a setting under display where you can actually reduce motion. Now this has been here but the problem was it was not working properly in group FaceTime calls. It would actually not reduce motion in there. So they have also fixed that. And that pretty much does it for the bug fixes. The other things in this update is just a whole bunch of security related items. 
Uh, I'm not going to really go over those, but there are a bunch of security fixes and bug fixes in this update. But anyways guys, that's pretty much it. I mean, don't really expect a lot of new things to be coming out, especially since we are so close to seeing the next version of macOS unveiled at WWDC towards the end of June. But anyways guys, just want to make this quick video showing you all these new things here. Let me know, have you found anything that I did not cover in this latest update? But anyways, thank you all for watching, supporting the channel, subscribing, liking, commenting, and I will catch you all in the next video.